What's up guys, uh, welcome back and today we're gonna do something that is nerdy but not quite nerdy It's more for a useful thing and you know, it's good for you and uh, it, it should be easy and should be practical and that is installing the latest Mac OS X High Sierra onto your PC and you're gonna need three things, okay? First of all, you're gonna need obviously a VMware workstation um, You know, I don't know where you will get one but you know, you just go to VMware.com and uh, sign up and uh, either download a trial of the pro version or you can get, I'm sure there's a free version of that. Uh, but either way, get yourself <clears throat> the VMware workstation. And uh, the secondary thing you're gonna need is of course a copy of the Mac OS X High Sierra, um, either in the ISO format or a DVD. I don't know if anybody even uses DVDs anymore so if you know where to get an ISO version of the system, you're gonna need that, okay? And the, finally, the last thing is what's gonna enable the VMware workstation to be able to create a Mac OS X image. And for that, you need to go to the website, uh, insanelymac.com, um, you, uh, and you have to register, uh, but essentially where the unlocker is uh, here, uh, I will also leave the link under the description too. Um, that way you don't have to, you know, waste your time looking for it. Um, so what you do is once you're at their page, just click on downloads, um, go to miscellaneous. Uh, once you're in miscellaneous, um, go down, go down and find, find the unlocker 2.1.0. Now, when I made this video or Rather, when I installed, when I test installed Mac OS X High Sierra, um, I don't believe 2.11 uh, was out and it looks like it's broken. So just stick to Unlocker 2.1.0 because um, it allows you to also install it on uh, Workstation 14, uh, which is fine, um, but also Player 14. So you really don't need 2.1.1. So just go ahead and uh, just log into your account and you know you registered and log into it and then this link will pop up. So go ahead and just click on that and uh, it's gonna download. Okay, once once it's done downloading, you basically don't need the web page anymore. So we can go ahead and close that. Okay, if it closes, well, okay, it's downloading, whatever. Anyway, I have a copy of it here that I already pre-downloaded. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and extract this. Uh, remember to turn off your VMware and uh, then go to, um, oops, shouldn't have done that. And go to unlocker, just open up uh, after you extract it. Uh, just go open unlocker, unlocker. And you see windows installed.cmd. Right click it, click on run as administrator and press OK and uh, it's going to go ahead and uh, patch the system. <clears throat> okay, so now that our system is patched, um, we can go ahead and uh, go back to our VMware, we can reopen up VMware, which uh, we have it right here. So now, now we can create a new virtual machine. It's going to be typical, and we're going to install 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 a disk image uh, file. So because we have ISO, uh, that's what we're going to use. Uh, so browse, um, go to the folder where you kept your High Sierra ISO, click on it, and then press open and uh, press next and click on apple mac os x uh, just select you know 10.13 or 10.12 depending which unlocker you have um this is a little bit older version so i just go ahead and select 10.12 uh, i'm gonna put mine just in uh, my f drive hi sierra okay do, do, do. I like to keep it around 100 to 120 uh, gigabytes. Um, this is up to you how, whether or not you want to store it in a single file or multiple file. I honestly can't tell the difference. 
So you do you. Uh, do, do, do. And don't forget, customize hardware. Uh, usually here I like to bump up the RAM a little bit because it's such a you know high intensive uh, or like operating system. You definitely want a little bit more RAM. Click go ahead and uh, after you've done that, click on finish. Now it creates um, this unrun thing. Just click on power on this virtual machine and most likely it's going to give you an error in the beginning. Yep. So it's going to tell you the vCPU verify blah 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 is now working and it's going to shut itself down. So now what you do is um, go to your uh, where you installed the Mac OS which is here. We installed it here. The High Sierra. Find the whatever you named it which is in my case Mac OS 10.12 that VMX file. So you have to look for the VMX file. and now in normally for some people you might not be able to see the vmx so what you do is if you see this button up here on the top right corner if you click down you you have like these menus just click on view and uh ch ch make sure the file name extensions is checked if it's not checked check it because see i unchecked it it won't show the uh, file extensions names so i check it it's going to show me all those things so make sure that's checked so that you're making sure you're editing the, the VMX file. So we're going to open it up with Notepad. Um, just you can, if, you, if you, Notepad doesn't show up here, you can click on choose another app and then select Notepad under your listing. Okay. Um, so once it's open, at the very bottom, um, type in smc.version equals zero. Okay. Uh, I'm also going to add this command line underneath in my description so that you can just copy and paste, which make sure guaranteed it's going to be right. So we're going to close it. We're going to click on save. So now that it's saved, we can come back to, Ma to Mac OS X uh, High Sierra. And we're going to boot up this bad boy. And one great thing you should know is that this is the only way to install a clear, like a clean install relation of uh, High Sierra onto your computer and uh, if you downloaded the image with a pre-installed system there might be a possibility of there being a virus or something like that so in order to avoid that this is the way we do it uh, okay so it has a problem so apparently it failed so let's go back so it says it's a memory failure and so if you do get some issue like this um, go to the folder um, just look at the uh, files and if you see like this dot lck files, these are lock files, um, click on them and then delete them. Okay. So you don't need those. Uh, I don't know why they showed up, um, but they did. And we're going to go ahead and delete those and we're going to power it back on. Yada, 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 yada. Yeah. Okay, cool. So now it seems to be like it's working. So that's good. Yes. Hey, everybody. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to skip this part and uh, we're going to get back once the system um, boots, or boots up. So we're just going to wait. <clears throat> so slow. Oh, man. Mm. Okay. Okay, it's, it's booting up. Woo! Excellent. Whoa, whoa, whoa. English. Thank you. Come on, give me some of that English. Woo! Oh, man. Just press the English, then play, press next. It, it's going to take forever. It's, it's, it's just the way it is. Oh, man. Okay. So here's the tricky part, okay? Um, if you went straight ahead and just clicked on install Mac OS, um, it's, you're not going to be able to find a hard drive uh, to install it on. So you actually have to click on disk utility and click on continue. <laughs> All right. So once you're in disk utility, make sure under view, click on show all devices. So you do see the uh, VMware virtual SATA and we're going to erase this. And so what you do is you have to click on erase, uh, name it to whatever, Mac OS X High Sierra. We're going to name it that. Um, this is a preference. I just selected 
whatever, it was default. Uh, GUID is fine. Um, we're good. Uh, GUID. GUID. We're gonna erase it. And it's been done. Okay. So now we can use this. So now we can partition it. Uh, whoa. Okay. There we go. See, pretty sweet, right? So once it's being created, it's gonna create this um, hard drive. Then we're gonna partition it. And we're gonna keep this. Okay. So you see the partition here. So everything's ready to go. And we're gonna go ahead and exit from here. Um, so we're gonna disk utility, quit disk utility. Okay. Now we can install Mac OS X. So make sure you go through the disk utility first if you haven't. So now we're here, we can continue. We agree. Uh, yes, I agree. Uh, so now this hard drive pops up. If you didn't do my previous step, then this hard drive will not pop up and then you will not be able to install Mac OS X. And then you're gonna be asking yourself, well, I did create a virtual hard drive, but why didn't it work? Well, now you know why. So we're gonna go ahead and click on the hard drive. So we're gonna go ahead and click on install. You know, it's gonna install the system now. So essentially, um, you pretty much done at this point. And the only thing you need to do is essentially just wait for it to finish. So I'm going to cut the video. So I'm saving you with some time, saving me some time. We're all going to be very happy and we'll be right back. 21 minutes. Yeah. That one minute when you decide to find out that Apple doesn't know how to calculate their own installation time. Mm. Jesus Christ. Really? No. Oh. Come on. Alright guys. Woo! It's finally installed. Alright. Now we just have to wait. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, so now, obviously we're gonna choose America. Where's America? America, continue. US keyword, obviously. Don't transfer any information right now. Okay, we're gonna skip this. Don't sign in. We're gonna, we don't need it. We're gonna skip it. We're gonna agree with this crap. Of course, I agree with you. I'm gonna say young, young, one, two, three, whatever. There we go, one, two, three, okay. Okay, and oh man, okay. Not one, two, three, Q, he definitely. Oh, wow, okay. Not my one, two, three, hey. Okay. We created our account. It's creating an account. <clears throat> We're almost done here. Um, all right, guys, there you have it. A fresh, clean installation of Mac OS X High Sierra. I was hoping right after I said that the screen will have loaded, but clearly they have not done so. But it'll load up here in a sec all right guys so the next thing we need to do is install the vmware tool and in order to do that uh, we have to click on my computer that's inside the vmware workstation right click mac the uh, virtual machine that we have and we click on settings or yep we can click on settings 
click on the CD DVD and use ISO image and then we're gonna browse and if you remember we downloaded this thing called unlocker uh, 2.1.0 that we uh, extract earlier so open up the folder inside there's a folder called tools and then there's a, a, a ISO called Darwin.ISO gonna open it open OK uh, okay okay so we can't do that right now so we actually have to uh, extract it we have to remove it remove the install disk that we had and click on settings and um, now we can click on the darwin.iso that's inside the unlocker uh, okay okay so we're going to come back here and click on vmware install vmware tool so once that's been selected just click on um, uh, install VMware tools and then double click on the VMware tools then click on VMware tools double click on it and just follow it install continue installation install type in your user password it should be fairly quick this is the easy part um, we can close that we don't need that we already know what we're doing yes sir um, the VMware tool um, is supposedly help your system run a little smoother um, inside the uh, virtual box um, or inside the VMware. It's supposed to help it like, you know, refresh things a little faster and stuff. So definitely install this uh, if you guys haven't. Um, are more waiting? Sounds excellent. Hey, success. Restart. All right, guys, so we just restarted it. We're gonna log on to it, and there you have it. <clears throat> a fresh, clean installation of Mac OS X. It's high Sierra on your PC. You know, this is the best possible way to do this, um, if you think about it, because um, if you do, um, uh, okay, so, um, so this will pop up uh, right after you install VMware. So go ahead and go to System Preferences. And open up uh, Security and Privacy in Control Panel in System Preferences. Okay. All right. And you see, see uh, at the very bottom, System Software from Developer VMware was blocked from loading. So we're going to allow that. Okay. Okay, there we go. All right. There we go. I don't know if I needed to do that, but there you go. Now you have a uh, Mac OS X um, installed into uh, your PC and it is a fresh, fresh installation. And uh, yeah. There you go. And if you wanted to, you can mess with uh, the display settings and stuff. Um, well, you have to uh, turn off the machine in order to adjust uh, the uh, display settings. So I'm just going to leave it at that. Um, and there you go. If you enjoyed this video, um, let me know. Uh, if it helped you, let me know. If it was shit, let me know. Um, and I'll try to do it better, but I did get a new microphone, so hopefully it, it, it's much better now, not making tutorials. Um, but other than that, hope you guys have a good day and have some fun in Mac OS X. All right. Okay. Bye.